Why do we get sick? and today I am one sick and sparrow intelligence officer. I woke up this morning with a sore throat and a headache and it's no fun. I mean, how did I get this way? Well, there's a bug going around in Sparrow headquarters and it finally got me. It makes me want to snuggle under a warm blanket, watch a movie, or take, take a, a long long nap. One of the questions our Sparrow Scouts are asking us is, why do we get sick? Well, there are two ways you can get sick. The first way is through infections, which is what I have right now. An infection is an invasion of your body from germs such as bacteria or viruses. Bacteria and viruses are so small, you can only see them with a microscope. Your body's like a castle. It has walls and defenses to protect it from bad things. Sometimes bad germs get through the body's defenses and you can become infected. This can happen, for example, when you're around someone who is sick and their germs get on you. Or, or when, you, when you don't wash your hands before you eat. When you're infected, uh, viruses can take over help. your cells and turn them into virus-making factories, which make millions of viruses. Bacteria works a little differently, but also reproduces itself when inside of your body. When the army of bacteria grows large enough, your body starts to feel bad. But don't worry, your body is well equipped to fight off the germs that sneak inside of it. This is called your immune system, and your body has cells, like white blood cells, that fight off attacking germs. When this battle is going on in your body, you may, you may feel, you may feel tired. You may feel tired because your body's energy is directed to the fight. Your blood vessels get larger to allow more blood cells to flow to the battle areas. This can lead to swelling and soreness. You may get a fever and feel hot because your body is raising its temperature. This helps kill off germs, which may not be able to survive in the heat. These aren't fun things to feel, but it means your body is healing itself, which is a good thing. There's a war going on inside of me right now. If you listen closely, you can hear it. Infections aren't the only way we get sick though. Cancer and heart disease are examples of the other way we can get sick, which isn't caused by germs. Our bodies are like cars. If we don't take care of our car and give it oil and gas, it can break down. Our bodies break down too. If we don't take care of them by eating healthy foods, getting enough sleep and exercise, or we're doing unhealthy things like smoking. So when we don't take good care of our bodies and we get sick, it's not because of germs, but because our body is breaking down, just like a car that hasn't been given oil or service. So that's why we get sick. I'm going to get some rest now so I can help my body fight these germs and I, I can go outside and, and see all my, see, see all my, all my friends. Subscribe. Click like. And watch more. In Sparrow.